Are you struggling with choosing the right paper for your scrapbooking projects? Well, I have a simple solution that I think will help you choose wisely and hopefully save you a bit of money. Hey there, I'm Carolyn from Crop Candy Scrapbooking and I help take the guesswork out of creating beautifully designed scrapbook pages. Today, I'm sharing my approach to choosing the right papers for your layouts. When I first started scrapbooking, I would go to my local scrapbook store or big box store and just start pulling whatever sheets of pattern paper and cardstock that I liked. And then when I got home, I didn't really know what to do with any of it because none of it really matched and I didn't have a specific project for any of it. I was just pulling stuff to pull stuff. It was just shiny objects and I was buying just to buy. Flash forward to today and I've got a huge stash of stuff that I'm trying to consume or sell on eBay. This is about 20 years worth of supplies and at this rate, I will probably never get rid of it. Don't let this be you. In the last few years though, I've been all about the coordinated scrapbooking kits. And here's why. You get a specific amount of supplies to create a specific project. Everything coordinates so I don't have to wonder if something matches. And because I'm creating for a specific purpose, I actually consume most of my kit's uh, contents. And since I've been using this approach, I've cut back considerably on having extra bits that I have to store, and I end up saving money because I only buy for a specific project. I just don't buy to buy anymore. Well, you know, sometimes because, you know, part of the fun of scrapbooking is buying stuff, right? So what makes a good kit? Well, I like a paper packet that includes 10 to 12 sheets of double-sided pattern paper and variety of color cardstock. So that's at least six pattern sheets and six solid color sheets. I definitely want a sticker sheet and die cut shapes and or embellishments like gems or ribbon and the like is bonus. With this, I'm able to create say up to five double-sided layouts and two to three singles. And this is perfect for travel, holiday layouts, themed albums and the like. And if I have items left over, then they go into my scraps and I'll use them for one-off layouts like specific events or happenings. I'm not saying my method completely eliminates having leftovers, but it does minimize the amount of scraps that I have. And most importantly, if you're trying to economize, it helps you be more strategic and intentional about what scrapbook supplies you may buy. Now, of course, as someone who currently sells close to my heart scrapbooking supplies, I would be remiss if I didn't tell you that CTMH has great paper packets that fit the bill of everything I just described, and you'll get a lot of mileage from them. If you're interested, visit cropcandy.net slash shop to see the variety of kits you can get. Some of them are even workshop kits, and that's where you can make a lot of different projects and you can use up every item in the pack. Thanks for watching today's video and selecting the right paper for your scrapbook projects. Do you have any strategery around selecting paper? Share below. If you liked today's video, be sure to like, follow, or subscribe so that you don't miss any future clips like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.